This video was intended to train healthcare workers and provide them with practical information of the safe and accurate use of SD BioLine HIV 1 and 2 rapid test. HIV stands for Human Immunodeficiency Virus. It infects humans. It weakens the immune system, which is an important system in the body for fighting off infections and illnesses. It is the virus that causes AIDS. AIDS results when HIV infection progresses to an advanced stage, damaging the immune system to a point at which the body can no longer fight illness. So, AIDS is the final stage of the disease caused by infection with HIV. HIV virus has two types, HIV type 1 and HIV type 2. HIV type 1 is more common throughout the world. And HIV type 2 is most often found in West Central Africa, parts of Europe and India. People can be infected with HIV by having unprotected sex with an infected partner. HIV can be transmitted from mothers to their babies during pregnancy, delivery, or through breastfeeding. People can also be infected during a transfusion with HIV-infected blood. HIV infection is a worldwide epidemic affecting people everywhere. A total of between 30 and 36 million persons live with HIV. Most of these live in Africa. HIV rapid tests provides excellent tool for expansion of services. An HIV rapid test has many advantages. It can be as reliable as enzyme immunoassay and it's easy to use. It can use whole blood as a specimen. Test time is under 30 minutes. No equipment or refrigeration is required. Rapid test increases access to prevention and interventions. It supports increased number of testing sites. It provides same-day diagnosis and counseling. Therefore, WHO recommended that testing algorithms should be developed at national level using HIV rapid tests. Samples are tested simultaneously by two different tests. When two test results disagree, for example, one is reactive, the other non-reactive, in this case, a third test must be performed. But, this useful rapid test has limitations. That is, a window period. The window period is the phase when you have been infected with HIV, but antibody levels are not detectable. So, during the window period, HIV rapid test will be negative. If suspected, test again, three to eight weeks later. SD BioLine HIV 1 and 2 rapid test is designed for differential detection of all isotype antibodies specific to HIV type 1, including subtype O and type 2 simultaneously. Serum, plasma, and whole blood can be used as specimen. Test result is only 20 minutes. Storage condition is room temperature for two years. Sensitivity is 100% and specificity is 99.8%. SD BioLine HIV rapid test was evaluated by WHO with 100% of sensitivity, 99.3% of specificity. According to this, SD got long-term supply contract with WHO, UNICEF, USAID, and many other NGOs. And in 2008, SD got CE mark on HIV kit with excellent performance evaluation result. SD BioLine HIV 1 and 2 rapid test, easy to use. The materials included in the kit are test pouch, buffer, package insert, lancets, and capillary pipettes. Alcohol swabs are provided if required.
These materials should be prepared before starting the test. New unopened test pouch. For whole blood test, new disposable capillary pipette. For whole blood test, new unopened alcohol swab. For whole blood test, new disposable lancet. New disposable gloves. Buffer. Timer. Lancing device. And for serum or plasma test, micropipette and yellow tip would be prepared. Now remember, all test materials must be used immediately once opened. When using sample or serum or plasma. Let's begin the test. Check the expiry date on the back side of the test pouch. If expiry date has passed, use another kit. Put on the gloves. Remember, use new gloves for each patient. Open the test pouch and set the test device. Write the patient's name on the test. Using a micropipette, take 10 microliters of serum or plasma and put it into the round sample well. Discard the used yellow tip immediately in the sharps box. Add four drops of buffer into the same round well. One, two, three, four. Read the result after five minutes firstly. For the clear interpretation, read the result in 20 minutes. Remember, do not read the test results after 20 minutes. Reading too late can give false results. When using whole blood as a specimen, check the expiry date on the back side of the test pouch. If expiry date has passed, use another kit. Put on the gloves. Remember, use new gloves for each patient. Open the test pouch and set the test device. Write the patient's name on the test. If you have a lancing device, assemble the lancet with lancing device. Unscrew the cap from the lancing device body. Insert the lancet into the lancing device holder and push down firmly until it is fully seated. Twist the lancet protective disc until it separates from the lancet. Screw the cap from the lancing device body. Open the alcohol swab. Grasp the fourth finger of the test patient's hand. Clean the patient's finger with alcohol swab thoroughly. After cleaning the finger, it must be allowed to air dry. Remember, the alcohol must be dried before pricking, or test may not work. Do not blow or wipe the finger when you dry. Pull out the lancing device body as far as it will go and then release it. It makes lancet ready to prick. Push the blue button on the lancet device. Inside lancet will prick the patient's finger. Discard the lancet immediately after pricking the finger. As the blood bubbles up, take a disposable capillary pipette and draw the blood into the capillary pipette to black line. The amount of blood collection is critical. This is the correct amount of blood. 
It is too little. It is too much. Add 20 microliters of drawn blood into the round sample well. Discard the capillary pipette immediately in the sharps box. Add four drops of buffer into the same round well. One, two, three, four. Read the result after five minutes firstly. For the clear interpretation, read the result in 20 minutes. Remember, do not read the test results after 20 minutes. Reading too late can give false results. Only one line C on result window means negative. Two color bands on one and C line, or three color bands on one line, C line, and faint two line mean HIV type 1 positive. Two color bands on two and C line, or three color bands on two line, C line, and faint one line mean HIV type 2 positive. If the 1 and 2 line are similar, you must perform a confirmatory test to determine the virus type or diagnose a co-infection accurately. If no line appears near the letter C, conduct test again with a new test device and new disposable capillary pipette. Dispose of test materials such as test device, gloves, alcohol swab, desiccant and packaging in a non-sharps waste container. Record the test results. Now remember, each test can be used once. Do not try to use the test more than once. When you have a problem with your test, it could be solved by the following. Check specimen integrity for evidence of bacteria contamination, hemolysis, and lipidic substances. Verify labeling, paperwork, and procedures. Have the same technologist retest the specimen. Repeat testing blindly by another technologist. Repeat on reference test blindly. Repeat at different laboratory or reference laboratory. Determine true status by other essays. Recheck equipment and reagents.